Christmas. Oh, I saw Santa. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. welcome back to the County Council meeting. We had some technical issues. I believe we are back back up. We will um, resume the meeting with. Uh, I would entertain a, a, a motion to approve um, the October 26 minutes. So moved. Second. Motion from Piper. Second from Ballard. Any discussion from Council? Questions? Corrections? Roll call, please. Donna. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Okay, and we have a resolution up today, a resolution of the Delaware County Council authorizing and approving an addendum to an interlocal agreement Steve. for Joint Communication Center Resolution 2021-050. Is that correct? Yes. Now I would entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. second. <laughs> Jane and Not Ryan. the second. Ballard. It doesn't matter. It can be me or Jessica. It doesn't Ballard. matter. Okay. Motion from motion from Ballard. Second from Piper. No. Motion from Jane. <laughs> motion second. from Jane. Second, second from, from Ballard. Ballard. Okay. All right. We had, everybody was jumping on that at once. So we're, we're excited about this one. Anyway, we've got a motion in a second. <laughs> Move it on. Oh, any discussion from council? Which one is it? This one? Bill, do you have anything you've had an opportunity to look over the? All this does is extend the uh, interlocal agreement regarding the uh, communication center between the city and the county for an additional one year until the end of next year. Nothing else changes. And the dollar amount is eight hundred thousand dollar payment. Brian, do you have anything? Ballard, do you have anything you want to um, discuss on that, or you know, I I think it's it's tough negotiating with a, uh, another municipality that has you know some financial troubles, and um, I think we've continued as a county to try to recognize that and and work with the city, and um, we just couldn't come to agreement with a a, a, n a new interlocal, uh, but all of us were willing to go back to um, you know last year's and see if we can continue to work on it these things take a lot of time and there's a there's a process to it so uh, we're just we're trying to get all on the same playing field and we just weren't but we were able to agree on something so i i think that's better than zero absolutely so that's and, where i'm at and at this point i think we've got a, an approval from the commissioners yes is that correct okay but no other bodies have, have yet approved this as a city well they haven't signed it uh, they were John was going to get their signatures once they get have their meeting and talk about it okay yeah I don't know when their meeting was this month and then we've got the resolution and then are we approving an agreement it, it, you're, you're approving your the resolution approves the agreement will have you sign both the resolution okay. and the signature copy of the agreement okay everybody clear on that okay <clears throat> roll call please Donna Oh, gosh. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. All right, and that, that is all we need to do to get that approved, and then Correct. we'll just get make sure everybody signs that before they leave today. Um, no ordinances for approval. So we are on to the transfer and financial agenda. Donna, are you going to? Oh, Tanya's going to read those in. Okay. Tanya's doing it. All right. Reading. I'm reading. Still start with the transfer. <laughs> All right. We start with Circuit Court Department A-168, Court Reporter, negative 1,700. C-136, Assistant Court Reporter, negative 1,200. C-139, Assistant Court Reporter, negative 1,200. C-165, Court Secretary, negative 1,200. 312, Court Ordered Attorneys, positive 5,000. 441, Office Equipment, positive $300. <coughs> Total. Total zero. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Lassiter. Any discussion from Council? Roll call, please, Donna. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Mr. Alexander? 
Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have communication. B-130, communication tech, negative $13,161.05. C-130, communication tech, positive $13,161.05. Total, zero. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Webb. Yeah. Any questions from Council? Roll call, please, Donna. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Next, public defenders. Salary 150, negative $1,800. Salary, $155, negative $750. Health insurance, $193, negative $1,000. Office supplies, to eleven, dollars positive $3,550, total zero. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Lassiter. <coughs> Questions from Council? Um, would you go ahead and... Um, Sure. It's about this. You weren't able to make it to uh, finance committee. Yes, meeting, I, so. I apologize for that. Uh, we had so much turnover in attorneys. We happen to have some extra money uh, in those salary lines and the little bit left in the health insurance. And so these office supplies are what we pay. I, I last month got money to put in office supplies to pay up the attorneys for their copies of the of the discovery that they are required to send to their clients, our defendants. So this is going to get us through the rest of the year in that line. Any questions from council? Roll call, please, Donna. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Jail 145, E-161 Cook, negative $3,406.60. F-161 Cook, positive $3,406.60 total zero move to approve second motion from Piper second from Ballard any questions from council roll call please Donna mr. Ballard yes Miss Lassiter yes Miss Piper yes mr. Webb yes mr. Alexander yes next up sheriff 129 B138 deputy negative 324.37 D111 sergeant positive $96.08 B101 sheriff positive 228.29 C138 deputy negative $350 B101 sheriff positive $350 total zero move to approve second Motion from Piper, second from Webb. Any questions from Council? Roll call, please, Donna. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Next, Highway C-143, truck driver, negative one thousand four hundred and sixty nine dollars d one forty three truck driver positive one thousand four hundred and sixty nine dollars one seventy part time negative thirty thousand dollars one sixty overtime positive thirty thousand dollars total zero move to approve second motion from piper second from lassiter any questions from council Yes, sir. I do have a question, Carrie. Um, on the overtime, moving from part-time to overtime, is that in, in preparation for overtime that's going to be used? Yes. It's not that they use that much overtime? Over no. Okay. We're just getting ready just in case we need it. Got it. We don't know how much snow we're going to get. That's just to be safe. I just wanted to clarify. Thank you. <laughs> Any further questions from Council? Roll call, please. Donna? Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you. Jail Lowett, 
C111 Correctional Officer negative 6138.82 D111 Correctional Officer positive 6138.82 for a total of zero. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Webb. Questions from Council? Roll call please, Donna. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you. Now to the addendum. <laughs> First addendum. First addendum. Okay. Okay. First addendum. Commissioners, 173 health insurance, negative $75,000. 325 utilities, positive $75,000. Total zero. Move to approve. Hey, hey, hang on. Hang on a minute. Please. Do we have that? The boss got these ready and they're not in order. Oh, he didn't give me any. Right here. Right here. All right. This one. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Who made the motion? I did. And second. We don't have a second yet, I don't believe. Second. Okay, motion from Piper, second from Webb. Any questions from Council? Roll call, please. It's screwed up here. Donna? Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. I'm not going to have sheets. Jail. 325 medical <clears throat> contracts, negative 12,000, 117, 92. 224 inmate meals, negative 12,908 dollars and 54 cents. 311 hospital services, positive 25,000, 26 dollars and 46 cents. Total zero. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Webb. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Any questions from council? Roll call, please, Donna. Ms. Lasser? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Bridge 1135. 391, Ditch Reconstruction, negative 8,700. 441 miscellaneous equipment, positive 8,700 for a total of zero. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Lassiter. Would you guys just uh, tell us and the, and the public what this is? Yes. Thank you. Um, so we're going to buy a new hot box so we can use um, hot mix over the winter. We currently have four. Three of them are non-working. We can't get parts for them. So... We have one that's currently working. This will give us a second one. This is going to be a diesel, and we could keep our cold mix hot. So that's what we're going to try this year. It's going to make it stick in the holes better. Jessica. This is basically for uh, pothole and road repair yeah. And, yeah. and things like that. In the winter time. And the hot mix works way better than the, uh, yeah. than the cold mix. Yeah, for the winter, we'll use cold mix in it to keep it cold or keep it warm. And then, of course, in the summertime, we'll use it on holes with hot mix all right for the uh, thank you <clears throat> huh? sorry for the uh, ditch reconstruction that the money's coming from is that money that was saved over a uh, ditch reconstruction project or you just decided to not it's do it it's just leftover it's just money some leftover use. money okay. that we were not going to use this year got it thank you any other questions from council roll call please donna uh miss piper yes mr webb yes mr ballard yes miss lassiter yes mr alexander Yes. Okay, next we have Highway 1176, C146 truck driver, negative 9,000, D146 truck driver, positive 9,000, total zero. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Webb. Oh, shit. Sorry, <laughs> thought I had it turned off. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, we're good today, aren't we? <laughs> Any questions from council? Roll call, please, Donna. 
Uh, Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thanks. Next, we have project income, 173 insurance, negative 700, 199 longevity, positive 700, total zero. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Lassiter. Questions from Council? Roll call, please. Donna? Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Surveyor Perpetuation Fund, 199 Longevity, positive $600, 311 Professional Services, negative $600, total zero. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Ballard. All right. Questions from Council? Yes. Roll call, please, Donna. Uh, Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you guys. You have a good day. You too. Thanks. <laughs> Addendum 2. What's that? Addendum 2. Yeah. Okay, we start with the commissioners. 172 per. Negative seventy thousand dollars, three eighty six institutional care, positive seventy thousand dollars, total should, should be say zero. zero. That should say zero. And this was um, moved from the uh, the general fund. Right. When we get the additional appropriations, you'll see we'll, we'll withdraw okay. that All one. Right. Okay, I need a motion. So moved. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Ballard. Questions from Council? Roll call, please, Donna. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Second before we need a second? Wait a minute. Uh, he, he made all these sheets for me, but he forgot to do the transfer. <laughs> Well, he didn't know, probably. He coming oh, okay. Is that all on the? Okay. That's all on, on the, the transfers. Addendum? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We're ready for County General. All right. And that very first one of the commissioners, that's the one that um, at finance meeting, Scott asked if we could uh, find money elsewhere to transfer. So. I looked at PERF and FICA and got with Jim, and that's why you just approved the transfer, so this is going to be withdrawn. Thank you for doing that, everybody. <laughs> okay, we're ready for a corner. All right. New appropriations, corner 198, part-time, positive 5,000, 311, autopsy lab x-ray, Positive 60,000, total 65,000. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Webb. Yes. Is that right? Okay. All right. There was um, discussion in finance on this, and there's just um, really nowhere nowhere else to get this from, but um, the general fund, unfortunately, um, and, and there aren't any other alternatives. I don't know if you have any um, thing you want to share from finance as far as the numbers of autopsies and things we've got going and when you and I talked we had 18 uh, full <laughs> autopsies since October 28th to November 15th since Thursday we've had six more so we're at 24 we're out on a car fatality now which takes us to 24 full autopsies since the 28th it's the total dollar figure that we've spent this year in autopsy um, we were at 190 before I asked for the 60. And it, every year it continues to go up. And yes. Go up. Yep. Will the 65 
think cover through the rest of the year? No. So this is I, just going to cover what what you've got going. Well, on. when when I met with Scott, we were already at twenty one six in the hole from the eighteen autopsies that we had at twelve hundred apiece. I've had six more. Um, so twenty four times twelve. I'm not sure what we're at right now. And then I had three three toxicology bills. One at two ninety eight, one at sixty, and one at ninety eight. Um, I mean, just since we met, we've had six. Well, there's nothing we could do. I'm, I just, I just wanted to hear what the number. Yeah, I, I don't know. What is that over last year? He said it keeps going up. You, do you have that number off the top of your head? How many we did yeah, last is, year? Is there a, a giant increase from last year, or is it just gradually increasing? Gradually increased. We asked for what fifty thousand last year. Now we're asking for sixty. The cost of those is remaining the same at this point? 1200 per autopsy. Okay, and that's for full? Yes. Yeah. Isn't this the second time you've come in and asked for money this year? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. But, yeah. Is, is that, that fee, that contracted to where it can't go up anymore? It's through the hospital, yes. I think that's what. So it, it, is it a... Is it a negotiable fee, or is that just say they just say, "Hey, it's twelve hundred, take it or leave it." Twelve hundred is what they've charged us. I think out of county is a little bit different. I remember being at the. If that goes up, can you let us know? Yeah, there was discussion. I think last year that they wanted to charge us per body, so we were looking at different options, what we could do to pull out of the morgue. Um, I think that they came to a resolution, thankfully. I know that they were wanting to charge us like 500 extra body after 48 hours or something. Orange. Yeah. There's a lot of variables that comes into play. I don't know if that's quite a fair way to go about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, so, so Jessica, I don't know. We, I mean, we were at 18. We have 24 now. Like I told Scott, fire season's coming up. Fire fatalities, heaters. We'll we'll start seeing a lot of fire fatalities. I don't know if 65 will get us through, I'm hoping. Yeah, it's since October. Yeah. That's what the hope was uh, on Thursday. And now we've had six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and we know you. there's no way to predict um, how many we're going to have from now until the end of the year. I mean, it's um, unfortunately, we've, I mean, we've got to fund it. So any other questions from council? Roll call, please, Donna. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. This this amount uh, for this is over and above what we had put in for the rest of the year, so this will affect our operating balance at first of the year, correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay, next is state prosecutor seizure fund 211 office supplies positive $1,500 total $1,500 move to approve second got a motion from Piper second from Lassiter okay. yes, yeah sir. okay and go ahead and tell us about this you weren't able to get to finance it's just funds from our um, money that comes in on state forfeitures and I have no more office supply money left so I just need a little bit to get me through. <coughs> this doesn't affect your revenues because this money, <clears throat> it's put in a special revenue account and it's not taken into consideration during budgets or anything because she's the only person that can spend that money. So um, it doesn't affect the operating balance per se. Any questions from council? Roll call, please, Donna. Uh, Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Auditor, 332 publication, $3,521. Total, $3,521. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Webb. Donna, you want to? Yeah, this is for um, uh, tax sale publication. So what gets spent gets reimbursed. So it's kind of an in and out thing. 
Questions from Council? Roll call, please, Donna. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Next, we have EMS capital improvements. We have 420 window replacement for a positive $14,000. 442 mattress replacement, positive $4,950. Total $18,950. Could you repeat those numbers? Okay. Because the they're different. Then. Right. Yeah. On, on your sheet, um, on the second line where it says 14,000 mm -hmm. disregard that this it was an error and the 18,950 is now split um into two different accounts so the 18,950 is now account 420 windows for 14,000 and account 442 mattresses for 4,950 which is that total of eighteen thousand nine fifty. Okay, thank you. Move to uh, I'll move to approve. Okay, motion from Piper. Second. Second. From Ballard. And this is a great example of why we have a finance committee meeting prior to, so we yeah. get to get all this worked out. So it was a little confusing, but we figured it out. Yeah. Any questions from council? <laughs> Roll call, please, Donna. Yeah. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, we have op op <laughs> I'm not going to say noid. <laughs> Opioid <laughs> grant. Uh, 101 peer recovery coach. Positive 32,500. 171 FICA. Positive 4,100. 231 incentives, 7,200. And 400 kiosk, positive 16,200 for a total of $60,000. Move to approve. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Ballard. Yeah. Right? Okay. So this wipes that fund out for the year, correct? Oh, that's it, they got their sixty thousand. Okay, yeah, it's, I'm just saying it says sixty here. So, and your request is for sixty. So, any other questions from council? Roll call, please, Donna. Ms. Lassiter. Yes. Ms. Piper. Yes. Mr. Webb. Yes. Mr. Ballard. Yes. Mr. Alexander. Yes. Thank you. All right. Move to approve financials, transfers, and addendums, and to amend salary ordinance with like reductions, and to amend hiring freeze ordinance 2020-015. Second. Motion from Piper, second from Ballard. Mm -hmm. Any questions from council? Roll call, please. Donna? Ms. Piper? Yes. Mr. Webb? Yes. Mr. Ballard? Yes. Ms. Lassiter? Yes. Mr. Alexander? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go to, uh, this isn't on the agenda, uh, but all of you received, I think, by email. It appears maybe you'll receive something in the mail as well from the commissioners. Um, a request to reduce um, the increase for all three commissioners and, and what their what they would like to do would be um, increase that for three employees. I think these are two separate um, issues as far as uh, timing, but I don't know. So I talked to Bill um, on this. I don't know if Bill's got any insight on this, on whether this is um, possible to do this. Well, the concern was in the letter, they noted that the State Board of Accounts has said that that can be done when they, it says when the County Council adopts the 2022 salary ordinance. Uh, the problem is that's already been done. That was done as a part of your budget adoption. So I don't disagree with the State Board of Accounts, but I 
uh, am concerned about uh, DLGF. So I have reached out to their support uh, email and I'm awaiting an answer from them to, to see if we can do this. I recognize that there is a statute that says you cannot reduce an elected official's salary in the year in which uh, it is fixed. So it's not something that can be done in January. But I do want to make sure that having already adopted the salary ordinance that we would have the authority to go in and amend it before the end of the year. So as soon as I get that answer, I, I'll forward it on to all council members and the commissioners. Does anybody else have anything they want to discuss on that or? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I have been in this building for 30 years and I've made some mistakes and, and I will admit I've made mistakes and I've probably made some I don't know about, but I've never lied. And I was, I've never been accused of lying. And I want to straighten out this right now so people will know I did not lie. A few years ago, I was auditor, Jack Stonebreaker, Jimmy St. Meyer were commissioners. Our county engineer left. They wanted to promote within and pay less money. When Jack, it has nothing to do with elected officials. And I never said it had anything to do with elected officials. When the commissioners turned in the pay voucher, the pay person came to me and said, they're not paying what the ordinance says. So I came to Jack. Jack and I went to State Board of Accounts. Bill Vincent was State Board of Accounts. And Bill said, the auditor shall pay what the county council has approved in their salary ordinance. And that's why I said, on, we know that State Board of Accounts sometimes depends who you talk to. But that day, we were told we had to pay what the salary ordinance said. And so my position was, the day of the conversation, we had, we had adopted, we had our budget adoption that day. So we, we have adopted. It has nothing to do with, with, the, with elected officials. When I got on this council, I probably knew about everybody in this building. And I've tried very, I, I've been very careful. The employee numbers, I can pretty well tell who that is. And I have been very careful to not, to not make, make my decisions on, on people, but on, on positions. I've, I've tried to be very fair with the employees and I've tried to be very fair with the taxpayers who pay our salary. We know how much we can spend. Now with the tax caps, we know how much we can spend, and that's what we spend. And I think, I, I think I've always been very honest with everybody. When Ryan Webb was elected, I called him, didn't I, Ryan? Yes, ma'am. And I said, let's meet. And I was so honest with him that I'm surprised that he even speaks to me, right? <laughs> I, I don't I don't I don't I don't lie about things that I think are important. And I think this has this has gotten very personal. I think this whole budget time was very Ron Q says it's the worst run he's ever been through. Second time. And I, th I I think it has gotten very personal. It's almost like it's us against them and guys until it's not us against them
going to anyway I have been very upset about this I've been very distraught about this and it's over it is done with I will probably abstain from any voting because I, I think when it becomes personal you can't make educated ed educated votes <coughs> sorry guys that's the way I feel um, like I said 30 years I, I've never had anybody accuse me of lying to them so I'll add to that Jane if that's all right I, you know I, I think budget session there was a lot of things that were said and there's a lot of things that uh, didn't necessarily need to be said uh, that were brought up um, what I'll say is this is when we're up here um, we're, we're an elected body which means we don't report to necessarily anybody in this county building we report to that taxpayer within our district at large does not necessarily matter um, sometimes we have to ask the tough questions and we have to approach things directly with people it may may sometimes the approach may be a little different everybody has their own way of going about things here um, when I'm up here I'm not I'm not a funeral director when I'm up here I'm an elected official so I'm going to ask those hard questions um, whether that irritates people or not does not matter to me whatsoever because the questions have to be asked so um, like I said budget session was hard you know um, things get said things get brought up it is what it is but just understand uh, we report to the taxpayer so the questions will be asked no matter what if I could add um, not really so much about the budget sessions but in in general what we were discussing with the commissioner's request uh, for the three specific employees um, for me personally and I don't know how everyone else feels about it I appreciate the attempt to recognize the individual value uh, of those employees um, and, and I appreciate the commissioners reaching out to us uh, via email to express um, their gratitude and what they were willing to do to also recognize those employees. I guess it's unfortunate that, you know, it may not be unfortunate, and there may still be all of something to be done, but it's unfortunate that uh, we couldn't get it done before then. So to address what Mr. Hughes said, I would like to show my support for that as well but that would obviously depend on what mr. Hughes comes back with of uh, the parameters of what we're actually allowed to do so I just wanted to make sure everyone understood where I'm at it all depend on what mr. Hughes says but other than that I would love to show support for everyone especially to follow the commissioner's recommendation <clears throat> well I guess um, what we need to let Bill know is whether there's interest on on council for having him to to look into this um, further to see you know see whether or not this is possible before the end of the year um, I don't I mean just I don't know I guess shouldn't even speculate on what we can and can't do until we hear legally but on what we can and can't do so um, you guys tell me I mean if you want him to move forward or if you're satisfied with where we're at I mean we're basically second-guessing the budget at this point well well for me to kind of reiterate what I just said I I would support the recommendation by the commissioners if we could do that but that's just me I'm just one person so um, but I agree with what you're saying I mean it, I wish we could have been done before that I'm, I'm not opposed to getting an answer just to know what that is for my own education but I think the concern with some of council members that I've mentioned we've talked about it briefly is how that impacts commissioner salaries moving forward you know there will come a time where our commissioners will change and that's but I'm not opposed I, I would like to know more information on if it is possible and what what that process is well and the other thing I know um, read through the letter and everything I went back to the 22 budget and looked and the in the commissioners did request an increase um, in in their light items for each one of them specifically that was one thousand five hundred and ninety nine dollars for each each commissioner so the request was there um, you know obviously we didn't get to that amount but um, and, and we did have the discussion on you know elected officials with the the council 
Um, you know, I tried <laughs> to get that reduced, and and you guys agreed to, to leave it the same. So I guess I don't know. My feeling is, if we're going to do this on the commissioner side, we probably need to rethink um, our own increase as well and, and set it aside. Um, but anyway, I think that's all subject to what what can. I don't know if anybody else has got any input on whether we can or can't at this point or we let Bill take a look and see. So am I hearing from council that we'd like to have Bill check into it? It'd just be good information to know, okay. in my opinion. Bill, would you take a look at that and, and let us know? Yes. Okay. All right, we'll move on to uh, committee reports. Any committees to report today? Uh, department heads and elected officials. Jenny Honeycutt, County Commissioner's Office. I want to touch on some of that. First of all, Ryan, I appreciate your support on that. Pam and I both do. Um, regarding the commissioner's raises that we're in, that was by default. I was told to increase all line items by 5%. Um, and as far as this particular request from them, this was discussed prior to budget adoption. It just wasn't acknowledged during budget hearings. So this letter was put together after budget in hopes of still pushing it through after, after speaking with State Board of Accounts and learning that it still could in fact be pushed through, assuming what Bill learns lines up with what they've been told. So I just wanted to clear the air as far as that goes. Jane, I respect you very much as an elected official. I kind of felt like that was personal. I'm not sure where all that came from. I hope it wasn't, but I don't view you as a liar. I don't think Pam does either, but this all felt very personal. So I wanted to clear the air. Thanks. Thank you. Anybody else? Any public comment? Any public comment? We did not, let me double check, receive any emails. And on Facebook, we have one question for clarification. So the commissioners want to reduce their salaries to fund three additional county employees. And the answer is correct. Correct. That's the way I read it. Yep. It, yeah, they want to reduce their salary increase for the 2022 um, salary expectation. Yes, there was $1,000 they want to give that to three other employees. So reallocate it. Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Any, any. Are we get into the yeah, the field ribbons or not? The calendar for the year? I don't think, I mean, the question didn't come up today, so I don't see any I, point I, in that. I mean, I, I think they're working through that, so. I agree. Yeah, thank you, though. Yeah, the calendar for 2022 um, budget, or not budgets, but, um, meetings yeah we, we can need do to it in december you want to do that in december or i we mean could... i thought i had it on the agenda yeah i did too I don't it's see not on the it. agenda we could do it under i can put it i can put it on in, in december okay. it's fine what's the date of our december meeting this year uh -huh. so i think it's 12th in it or i don't know so the second week yeah i don't have a copy of it in front I of me i can well, let me look on the web. Hold on. I have it on the 14th. I'm pretty. I let me thought look it was on the so. internet. That sounds right. It sounds late to me, but you might oh, be the right. the first week? I thought it was the second week. I thought it was the seventh. Maybe it's the Because I thought the finance would Either the seventh or the fourteenth. I know it's normally the beginning of the month. Right. Mm -hmm. That'd be the seventh then. And it's nothing but transfers. Right. Transfers only. No, it was early. Okay. We need to do it early. Hold on. Yeah. I, th I think it's a seven. That would mean the finance meeting was. We don't have one. Oh, we don't have. Anyway, any any. Whoever said fourteen. That's wrong. Is the winner. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's late. That is late. But it was approved, so. 
and I will get the calendar. I've got it here. I'll do it on December. Okay. Donna, well, and um, I thought I had it on there, but Donna, that's not too late for you, is it, for the transfers? No, it's just transfer. Well, and Council, Don, uh, Denise had sent out um, the calendars for you guys to take a look at, and, and we didn't, I received, I think, one question on that uh, about the 10 o'clock meeting, and, and that was on a holiday. Um, so there was one meeting in there where we'll meet at 10 o'clock instead of February, 9 o'clock in February because of a holiday in there. Any other comments from Council? Speaking of holidays, I hope everyone has a happy that's Thanksgiving. I, that, was, that was my next. <laughs> yeah. we, we'd like everybody. to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. It's coming here uh, real soon. Yeah, this week. So, all right. Anything else? Oh, I, would I, I did want to say something real fast. Um, I almost forgot about this. So there's been some, some com conversation a little bit about some of those uh, um, refugees from Afghanistan have been settling. I just want to remind everybody to, to treat... Uh, everyone as a warm and welcoming community that we are um, and and just try to show the best of what Delaware County has uh, in your interactions with our uh, new residents that's all all right with that I would entertain a motion to adjourn okay. So moved. I had a motion from uh, <laughs> who, who was it I got I think it was uh, Piper. I got Jessica and Jane no no, I didn't open my mouth. Oh, you she didn't? Did. I could hire pitch voice. Jessica, <laughs> Jessica and Ryan. Ballard. Right. <laughs> All right. Motion to adjourn from uh, Jessica, gotta, or yeah. motion from <laughs> Jessica, second from Ryan. Well, Jessica, 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 Jessica,